Hello everyone, my name is Darave, and in this video, I'll go over how to downpatch Elden Ring to a previous version of the game. There's also a written guide over at speedsouls.com, link will be in the video description. Before proceeding, I always recommend backing up local copies of your Elden Ring installation, as well as backing up your save files. This will make both restoring your installation when something goes wrong and switching back and forth between different versions much easier. The installation location is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring. You should also consider backing up your Elden Ring save files, as your save file might not be compatible with a downpatched version. The Elden Ring save file is located in Users, Your Username, App Data, Roaming, Elden Ring, then a folder with a bunch of numbers, and here's your save file. Download the latest release of the Steam Manifest Patcher. This is a short application which patches Steam so that you can use the depot downloader command again after it was disabled by Valve. Press the Windows key plus the letter R which should open the Windows Run menu. In here, open the Steam console by typing the following string Steam Open Console which should now lead to Steam opening in the console mode. Insert the string of the depot you wish to download. You can find a table in the written guide in the description of this video, which contains the depots and manifests of the Elden Ring versions that are publicly available. To download these depots, insert these strings into the Steam console one by one. Wait for one to finish downloading before inserting the other one. Steam will now download the depot. Know that there is no progress bar of the download in Steam, but it is still downloading in the background. You can confirm this by checking Steam's network usage in either the Downloads tab in Steam or via the Task Manager. You can ignore any other information displayed in the console as it is most likely unrelated to the downpatching process. In the meanwhile, we should ensure that the game can no longer automatically update. We can do so by turning off automatic updates in Steam. To turn off automatic updates in Steam, right-click Elden Ring in your library, go to Properties, Updates, and set automatic updates to only update this game when I launch it. Alternatively, you can change the value for auto update behavior to 1 in the Games app manifest, which is located in Steam, Steam Apps, and then search for App Manifest 1245620. Right-click the file and open this file in a notepad. Verify that the game states Elden Ring and search for the string Auto Update Behavior. Set the value to 1 and then save the file. Return back to the Steam console. Once the download is complete, it should present a temporary local directory in which the depot has been stored. In my case, the depot has been downloaded to Steam Apps, Content, then App, and the depot is inside of here. After downloading all of these depots, delete your existing game folder in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring. Then. Replace it with your game folder from the depots. This is to prevent any errors from additional files. For example, when modding the game prior to downpatching. Delete your save file in the app data folder. If you did all of these steps correctly, you should be able to confirm your game version in the bottom right corner after launching Elden Ring. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. You can also join the Speed Souls Discord by clicking the link in the description and going to the ER Help channel to request assistance there. Thank you for watching this video and good luck on the downpatching process.